everyone. I'm Beth with 50 Plus Beauty and I am super excited to have you here with me today because I'm going to show you the results of my color analysis and I have found a wonderful woman to do it for you if you're interested. I don't make anything off of this, but you know, I feel like you're kind of my girlfriends out there and this is something I would definitely tell a girlfriend because I think getting your colors done is a wonderful way not only to help you look your best, but to help avoid buying mistakes in the future because if you buy colors that look the absolute best on you, those tend to be the items of clothing that you really want to wear that really make you feel good. And this is one of my colors, and it is a piece of misinformation to think, well, I don't want to get my colors done because you know I want to wear all of the colors. Well, the real truth is, when you have your color analysis done, you can wear every single color, but there are just different shades of different colors that look better on you. So don't think that you're going to be wiping out certain colors if you have your analysis done, because you are just going to be able to choose those colors that absolutely bring out the best in you. And I will get into all the details of this color analysis, and I will say that Jill Wylott, who is the color consultant who did it for me, she is in Manassas, Virginia, and she is one of Color Me Beautiful's foremost experts. In fact, she was in a leadership role at Color Me Beautiful since about 1982. There is a picture there of Jill. She is a contrasting panache autumn, so she's a little different color than me. I am supposedly a topaz spring, light topaz spring. That's it, because I'm kind of light. But anyway, before I get into all the details about Jill's program, and it is wonderful, and I do want to tell you, I'm sorry, I've got to take a sip of this. This is my mineral water that I get from Costco. I love this. It is my substitute for pop because, as you know, I was kind of addicted to Diet Dr. Peppers, especially the McDonald's ones where you go through and pay 99 cents and get your, get your Diet Dr. Pepper. But anyway, this is my good substitute for that. Before I get into the specifics of the color analysis, let me tell you how I came to do this. And that is because I was watching Tracy Hensel's channel, and I really love her channel. There's a look at Tracy there. She's just beautiful. And I noticed that in her thumbnail, she always had on very bright colors, and she just looked wonderful. And she did have a video on her channel about having done the color analysis and also something called Signia Style. And basically, Jill does both of those things. This is Signia Style, and here it is. And this is actually the second part of the, well, it's not really part of the color analysis, but I think if you're going to pay to get the color analysis done, I would also get this done. This is one of the best things I have ever gone through. And this is Signia Style, and in this little book, they have you take all of your measurements and you send them photos of your face and your body, and they do a complete analysis of your face and your body, and then they come back with this book. And this book tells you exactly those things that you should wear in terms of wardrobe items to best benefit your body shape. Also things down to like necklines, types of earrings, color of jewelry. Well, actually color of jewelry is more in the Color Me Beautiful side. But anyway, this is a fabulous analysis. And if you would love to see this video, because I will be doing this in the next few weeks, then I hope you'll subscribe to my channel. And when you click that little bell, you'll be notified of this and my future videos. And they all deal with those of us over 50. Okay, now, one of the reasons that I chose Jill's system over anyone else on the internet is she is less than half the price. I was looking around and most of the color analysis people, number one, they had nowhere near Jill's level of experience, but also it was like $300 for a color analysis and another $300 to get the Signia style piece done if you wanted to get that done too. And I noticed that Jill was half that. She was only $150 to do the color analysis and $150 to do the Signia style. And I'm telling you, it is some of the best money I have ever spent because I really think it's easy to blow $150 on just an outfit that you never end up wearing because it isn't the right color or the right style for you. So in other words, I think not only is Jill an expert, but if you're interested in getting a color analysis or the Signia style analysis, she is by far the most cost-effective way to do that. And here is a look at Jill's website. And there it is, picture you dressed with style and confidence. 
And that is also a beautiful spring, and I am a spring as well. She's a little bit different of a color tone of spring than I am. How Jill does it is, you don't just get grouped in one of four seasons. That is one way to do it, but it's kind of like getting your astrological forecast done and just knowing you're a Taurus. Until you get the whole natal chart done, you really don't know much at all. So just being a spring is not going to tell you that much. But Jill basically takes wonderfully in-depth pictures of you and we must have gone back and forth like four, five, or six times because she likes you to take a picture in kind of a sunny window but not glaringly sunny and we had overcast days and basically cold, overcast, snowy days here in Kansas you know, a few months ago when we were doing this and it was very hard to get the picture that she needed, but she kept after it because she really is an expert and she wants to make sure that the colors she gets for you are exactly right. But then what she does is she takes that picture of you that is totally bare faced with no makeup and she introduces it to all these different colors. She does color swatching there. And from that, she develops your own personal Color Me Beautiful fan of colors. And these are my colors, and aren't they gorgeous? These are spring colors. And again, I'm a light topaz spring, which I'll show you a little bit later. But those are my colors, and those are totally customized for exactly my skin, eye, and hair color. And if you get a color analysis with Jill, she will do exactly the same thing for you. And I will say that originally I had planned to show you most all of our color analysis that we did over the web, and she does it via Zoom. So anywhere in the country you can work with Jill as I did. And after the analysis, she gives you a recording of the analysis and the analysis takes more than an hour, actually more than an hour on the color analysis and almost an hour on the Signia style analysis. And afterwards, she sends you a link to the recording and you can keep that and really go back and look at it over and over again. It's wonderful to have that. And originally I thought that I would just show you that whole process with her. But unfortunately, when I got the recording, there was about the size of Jill down in the lower left hand corner and me on top there. Very small and I thought what a boring video that would be on somebody's cell phone we would look like ants. So that didn't work. So basically what I'm doing in this video is I'm going to go back through some of the high points of what Jill shared with me and share the information with you because of all the things I have ever recommended here on my channel. This is one of the absolute best ones. And I will say I'm a little out of my comfort zone being so bright, but this is one of my colors and it's kind of around in here. And Jill said probably more like this, kind of an orangey red here. And Jill did say, you know, you're going to get your fan and put it in your purse and carry it with you. So when you're in the store and you're looking for something, you will have it. But you don't have to make sure that the color you choose is an exact match for these because colors range, the hues are very different. And so this is close enough what I have on now and so that's how you use the color deck is you get an approximate color that is very close to the color that is right for you. Okay, let's go back to Jill's website. And here is a look at a before and after. There is Rachel and she's a true honey tone spring, which is a little bit different from my type of spring analysis. But here she is before. And as you can see, she's kind of drab looking wearing the black there. But then look at all of her beautiful colors here. And this is showing a more creative, fashionable, fun look. And I think that certainly is the case. Now in the next set of before and after pictures, I'll show you a professional look. And here it is, this beautiful young blonde here. There she is before, and she's very attractive, but she just doesn't have any real pop there. But look at her in her colors. There she is in a blue, and she is supposedly authoritative and powerful, and I think she looks like that. And look how beautifully her eyes just pop. And there she is in her colors with a conservative, understated look. And there she is supposedly friendly and likable. And finally, the last picture is a color similar to what I have on now. She's showing her energetic side. And I absolutely love that because in each of those pictures, she looks different and she's projecting different kind of attitudes with the different colors, but she certainly looks better than she did in her before picture. Okay, let's go ahead and get into the analysis that I had done with Jill. And again, this was done totally through Zoom, totally online. Here is the beginning of the PowerPoint presentation there, virtual style analysis for Beth Snyder. And again, it is totally customized for each person. And that's just a wonderful thing. And here is a look at my spring fan deck right next to other spring colors. 
And as you can see, it harmonizes very beautifully. And in one of the slides, Jill used this deck and she put it against the winter coloration, the autumn coloration, and the summer coloration. And these colors just kind of blanded out. They didn't look nearly as good as when my colors were over the spring color, as you saw right there. And here is a look at the picture of my face that Jill used. And as you can see there, she is comparing my face with all of the different seasons there. I think it's winter, autumn, summer, and spring. And I am a spring, and my face just comes to life more in the face of those spring colors. And another thing I found particularly interesting that you don't get in just the run of the mill looking up your colors on the internet is she sends you your hair, eye, and skin intensifier colors. And here is a look at my hair, eye, and skin intensifier colors. And basically the gold color on the left is the color of my hair. It's pretty much of a nice camo color. And then the brown intensifies my eyes. And then the pink tone, kind of the peachy tone, is my skin intensifier. And basically you can wear those colors when you really want to emphasize your hair, skin, or eyes. And behind those more neutral colors, she has some greens and blues. And here they are, and I particularly like this. These are other skin, hair, and eye intensifiers because they are on the other end of the color spectrum from my hair and eye and skin colors. And it's basically this beautiful teal blue and these green colors. And what this does is it really makes your hair, skin, and eyes pop. These are probably my absolute best colors to wear. And coincidentally, I had this in my closet and I wish that it were a scarf because then I could really get it up to my face. Look how pretty those colors look. Absolutely beautiful. That would be a great scarf. But actually, this is a little shirt, a little halter that I had just ordered from Thread Up. It's from Express, I think. But there it is. Look how pretty that color is going to be. And obviously that's a summer shirt, but I'm really excited about that because I think it's kind of a happy, dramatic looking color there. Kind of like that woman in the picture that was showing her more creative, fashionable, fun side. I think these are colors I wouldn't have known were so good on me, but obviously they really are. Now I will say that in addition to using these colors to select your clothing items, you can also use them to select your jewelry. And basically what Jill has done is she has determined that my best jewelry colors are gold. And I do know that that is the case, but I'm fighting this just a little bit because I have all this David Yerman jewelry, which is silver. I used to sell David Yerman on eBay, so I have a ton of it and I really do like it. And it has a little bit of gold on it, at least some of it does, but it is not totally intense gold like that is. But I have to admit that looking at this, I think Jill is right. And I think I really do need to investigate using more of those gold tone colors in terms of my jewelry. So you get your wardrobe items, you get your best jewelry color. And another thing, which is a total bonus, which I absolutely loved is you get not only your makeup guide in your colors and look at my eyes now, my eye intensifier color, as you may remember, is kind of this blue color and also this purple color. And so what this is, is some makeup that Jill sent me. And this is a little bit of a teal eyeshadow and it is really intensifying my eyes. And this is a little glamorous makeup start guide that she sends to you. And she tells you the best colors for your eyes, your cheeks, your lips. And not only that, but she sends you all of these wonderful little, well, these are eyeshadows. And she sends you a bunch of eyeshadows in exactly your color and you can order them if you want. And because Jill is so reasonable in terms of doing the analysis itself, that is $150 and it is half what anything else out there is, she does give you 30% off on products if you just mentioned that you saw my video, Beth's video. And so she sent me these eyeshadows and that's what I'm wearing now. This is a peachish color on my lids and then the teal color there and there's a little bit of a gray color that she sent me that is in the crease there and you do get those as well. These are some lip colors that she sent me and I blended two of them together to come up with this lip color. Tell me if you would in the comments if you like me in this color because it's a little out of my comfort zone. It is very bright. And if you also like the eye makeup and or the lip makeup. And she even sends you some foundations and here they are. It's three foundations and a concealer. And I have the foundation she sent me in ivory on my face and I really do like it. I think it looks really natural and really good. And she recommended in terms of eyeliner colors to go brown or even navy, and I do have a navy eyeliner on now. And instead of using my intense black mascara, I've always favored. 
to go to a brown mascara. And I think this is brown black because it was the only brown black one I had. I didn't have any pure brown. And this is a look at the makeup collection that they offer. It says 10 steps to a glamorous start. And it tells you step by step exactly how to apply the makeup and it gives you the colors to use. And I think that's absolutely wonderful that not only are you going to buy clothing that enhances your beauty in terms of the color, makes you just glow, but also you're getting the makeup look there, which is another wonderful bonus. Now, real quickly, let me show you a couple of other tops I had on, which are in my colors. And actually, these are pictures from the videos that Jill took with me, first of the color analysis video and second of the Signia style video, which is still coming up. But here you go, and they look a little blurry because it was on my laptop. But there you can see I have kind of a coral sweater on in the first picture on the left. I think it really does make my skin kind of glow. And then on the right hand side, I've got kind of a periwinkle blue on, which is another one of my very good colors. Now, one last thing, and I kind of saved one of the best things for last, and that is that I am retiring in about another year. And I plan to use my retirement in part to do YouTube videos, maybe more than I've been making, and to devote even more time to my channel, which I'm really excited about. But for those of you who are facing retirement and want to do something creative and maybe help people, Jill also offers a course that teaches you how to do exactly what she does. And I think it's under $700, but here is a look at the things you get in that course. And in that course, I think you get all the color drapes and you learn all of the science behind it and you truly learn how to do it. And I will say from my personal experience with Jill, she is a total expert. And I can't imagine learning from anyone better than Jill. And if you're interested in either having a color analysis, having a Signia style analysis, or in even becoming a Color Me Beautiful consultant, then I'll link Jill's information below the video. And I hope you'll let her know that you saw my video and that that motivated you to come see her. I just really like to reward people who are talented and help us look our best. And if you have an extra $150 lying around, I cannot recommend the color analysis with Jill Wylott highly enough. And if you're interested in looking and feeling your best at age 50 plus, because that's what my channel is all about, helping all of us 50 and over look and feel our best. Okay, I always like to leave you with a little thought for the day. And normally I read from the cards, but actually today I just kind of wanted to share something that I've been going through lately in terms of wardrobe and kind of my thoughts about that. And I'll make it pretty quick here. But I realized that in my second half, years are declining. I have fewer years ahead of me than I have behind me. And I just really want to maximize everything about my second half. I want to feel better than I did in my first half. I even want to look better than I did in my first half. And so in addition to makeup and skincare, I'm going to be adding wardrobe videos, at least over the next few months to my channel, because I have always been challenged in terms of wardrobe. And part of it was I didn't know what to buy. And through things like Jill's color analysis video and her Signia style video, and another wonderful wardrobe program that I'll be doing for you in the next few months, I'm gonna keep that one under wraps, but it is absolutely wonderful. I can hardly wait to share that with you. But I'm learning so much about wardrobe and I realize that what we wear is just like anything else. We can actually learn to look better. We can learn what looks good on us. And it does take a little effort. So I'm so excited to be sharing these videos with you. Also, part of wardrobe in general is having a closet where we can find things and where the things in our closet look absolutely the best on us, where we don't have to weed through also rands clothing that just doesn't look good on us, is the wrong color, the wrong style, something like that. And if you're interested in seeing my video about my massive closet overhaul and the things that has taught me, and it has been considerable, then I hope you'll make a comment down in the comment section below the video. And as always, I'm so grateful to have you here with me, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video.